punished. In the land of the free, freedom is an expense. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Red Gaming Tech.com video. I'm going to be taking a look at Amerta City of Gangsters, which is available for the PC on Steam for $29.99. That would be pounds. It's also available on Good Old Games for $39.99. That would be in dollars. Anyway, I'm going to quickly jump in to the options and under general. I've turned down the music a little bit. Um, the game does support uh, period music, I'm going to go with. Typically, I don't really like the gangster period. Uh, there are a few exceptions to the rule in media, but generally speaking, it's not my gig, if you would. So, under individual options, you have various options that you can choose, of course. Uh, selections of screen scene resolution, and it does tell you what that does. Um, which is quite nice. Uh, Post-processing textures. Some, for example, under textures have low or high, and I don't really like that. I've always criticized it, but eh, there you go. Anyway, there is strategic views and combat views, and you can bind these, which is nice. So, yeah, I'm just going to... That's four there. Okay, cool. So, under new game, we are going to go, and uh, I don't want to give away too much of this one. So I'm going to go with my handle just because there's a selection of mugs to go with which mug will i go with for some reason some of these look somewhat familiar um i'm gonna go with this mug it probably closest resembles me in real life yeah i suppose so uh you grew up in a small village in sicily your childhood nickname was earful plus one cunning one smart one muscle Berries and hood. I see. That one's actually. Hmm. Okay, so each of these has a negative attribute. Huh, that's a good question, then, isn't it? Uh, I'm not quite sure what finesse does. I mean, I've got an idea, but I wish you could kind of mouse. Ah, oh, there we go. Finesse. Firearms, okay, that makes sense. Uh, smart. Okay. Interesting. I think I'm gonna go with berries. Actually, I'd probably not really move it longer distance form better with melee weapons. You know what? I'm gonna go with berries. Why? I don't have a clue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oops. I just realised I clicked on the same thing not two or three times. So, when you grow up, you know, father decided you should learn diligence and learn a trade. You became apprentice to the blacksmith. Hmm. I think I'll go with that one. No real reason why not, but... The most ridiculous feat you managed to pull off during your youth was stealing the key to a village mayor's wine cellar and drinking most of it before you were discovered. No. Resting in a range bull with your bare hands. Sweet talking a local loan shop to forgive your debt and give you even more money just until you get back on your feet. Eh, yeah, why the hell not? When you were 16 years old, you fell in love with the princess girl in the village. I bother challenge you to a duel since you were challenged you got to pick the weapon. It was a pistol. I'm trying to go with more of a shooty build as you probably guessed by now. You desert you decided to leave Sicily and immigrate to America because a Don put a price on your head. I'd be interested to see how much this would actually affect the storyline. Hmm, that's a good question. I think I shall go with... This one. You can move your camera... Portrait. When you're ready, press the difficulty level. Let's go with medium. Right, let's jump in. Here I am, fresh off the boat. Five bucks in my pocket, dreaming the American dream. I had to get my feet on the ground pretty damn quick. Sure you can. 
the land of the brave, and yes, it's not technically a sure you can. In the land of the free, freedom is an expensive commodity, even the freedom to have a drink. Success is never about hard work or fate cutting you some slack right when you need it. Success comes from giving the people what they need when they need it. Okay. Oops, sorry, just caught something off the side of my desk. I saved the game. No real reason, let's just quickly see how long it takes to save and so forth. Alright, Main Avenue. I got a drink five minutes after I arrived in Atlantic City. The prohibition hasn't changed much here. Tourists still flock to the world's playground for a drink and a round at the tables. Me, Freddy Tonino, and Squigs got a room in the less prestigious part. I have to say, the audio quality is actually pretty good in terms of the voice acting. It's pretty reasonable. Alright. No police presence. That's pretty good, since I don't even know what the hell I'm doing yet. Well, so I quite like the loading indicator in the bottom right there. Welcome to Atlantic City, boss. Hi, bro. Let's look around our new home. Move the mouse. Uh, okay. On the middle mouse button. And moving left and right. Okay. All right, that sounds simple. That's right. I found us a nice place to stay near the famous boardwalk. Click on the building with the hat sign above it. Select the hideout and view more information above it. Okay, a safe place to hide when things get rough. Close this panel by right-clicking outside it. Simple. Since we're new in Atlantic City, boss, we should learn what we can about the district and gather some information. There's a shop across the street from your home. You can use it to build in. There's a question mark sign. So a shop by clicking the sign above it. That must be it. Oh no, I saw that one. Either of these actions will allow you to earn more. Which it kind of told you more. I'm going to go with Big Spender. Uh, cost five dirty money. Spend some money to get the information you need. Back. Cheers. Lost one beer. Hmm. Strategic decision. Let's go with that one. Good job, boss. I eagerly await your return. Assignment take times complete. I was going to sign one side and unavailable. The time of that assess assignment. Wait for the boss to return from his assignment. It could have gotten really confusing real quite fast. If you named your character boss, and uh, let's have a while we're here, let's have a look at the street. Hmm, it's actually not bad quality. Ah, okay. There's a reason why. Looks like you found a couple of independent breweries, boss. We can steal some beer from. Independent <laughs> business offers many opportunities, such as buying, stealing, or selling alcohol. Aggressive actions such as a raid will lower your. Relations with the business owner, really? And he may refuse to do business with you. I'm shocked. Considering, you know, you're basically stealing his stuff. Would have thought that would have kept him on quite sweet and hunky-dory, personally. So that one, the building with beer mug signs and use the raid action to steal some beer. Okay. Drive by. <laughs> you can do a drive by, I like it. Raid for 20 beer. Time to get my hands dirty. Sounds reasonable. There are far too many opportunities for you to handle it alone, boss. Why don't you bring in squigs to help? You can hire additional gangsters and send them on assignments. This way, you can run multiple assignments at the same time. I could just use the word simultaneously, but never a mess. <laughs> the portrait of a silhouette with a question mark represents an empty slot for henchmen. Double click on it to view available henchmen. Okay. You are mine, son. Fifteen dollars a day. What's he think I am, a gang? Oh wait. All right. Hi, boss. I heard that you found some guys stealing illegal alcohol. We should steal their beer. 
since she can't afford to buy the alcohol, we'll simply take it by force. Who's going to stop us? It's not like they can call the police. Gather 40 beer casks. Raid. Start. You don't have to repeat that. <laughs> okay. Raid those bitches, that's what I say. I like how they just watch nonchalantly as I'm basically rinsing them silly. That's cool, bro. Is that all I have to do? Just wait. Apparently it says I'm raiding. Yeah, what's its heat? I saw that for a second and then it... Ever since the current police attention, okay, heat is increased by certain criminal activities and gradually raises men on police presence in the district. The police will take action against you. So it's a little bit like Grand Theft Auto, apart from I probably won't have SWAT helicopters coming to raid my house. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Oh, I see. You've actually got to click it. Now we can sell the beer and make some real money. I heard some Irishman is looking to buy beer. You should talk to him. There's profitable, profitable deals usually come from the outside of contracts. Click on the jobs button to open up the job screen. Okay. Jobs. You don't have many contacts yet, but that'll soon change, boss. In the meantime, you should maybe make a deal with the Irish group. Beer, liquor, farms, money, and special. Use the category to find the jobs you want. Click on the beer offered. I was almost hit by a brick on the road today. Now I'm rethinking my life. Oh dear. I should buy some beer, open a pub, and give up my life of crime and racketeering. Sure, why not? The job's on the way, boss. You can take a look around the district while we wait for the job to finish. Wait for the beer job to finish. Okay, sounds perfectly reasonable to me. Safe place to hide when things get rough. Can you upgrade it? Okay, don't have the cash. I have no capital. I have no capital, old bean. We actually can upgrade it. <laughs> get a swimming pool. I like it. Renovate your cabinet. I don't know why what that would do in any way, shape, or form. Buy new furniture for your living room. I guess a gangster has to have uh, the best, right? All right. Anyway, uh, all right. Click on that. Boss, the job's done, and we've got the money. We should use it to explore the district for more opportunities. Building with the question mark sign are called informants. You can use them to discover independent businesses. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for it. Oh, there we go. Big spender. Uh, we got mm, got some capital, so let's go with that. Cost 100 dirty money. Oh, I see. So that's clean money. What does it actually give? Tell us what that is. I'm curious. Legal activities or by laundering a dirty. Okay, sounds reasonable. I will say, aesthetically, it looks quite nice. It's actually a reasonable amount of detail in these buildings, even. Although, I do detect a uh, noticeable air of the clone brush tool. Naughty, naughty. But it, it's it's fine and reasonable. I don't mind that at all. Seems to work quite nicely. Gathering information. You can indeed gather it. Okay. Click on that. I can't find squigs anywhere. I'm afraid something may have happened to them. I explore the map to discover what happened to Squig. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I just paid money to someone who's not even here.
Let's go out that one. Find the sprig, because I have absolutely no idea exactly what it just told me to do. Maybe that one? It's in the Boston Fair. Oh, there we go. I get it. Hi, bro. Fires. Some people saw squigs get jumped by trees. I dragged him into the car and drove off from him. car and drove off away from the boardwalk. Uh, I see it. Incidentally, what the hell's that? Or illegally bought. Interesting. Investigate. Well, might as well start. The life of a mob boss is never easy. We never appreciate the little things. There's always the drive-by shootings with the police. Never the rescuing the goons from the headquarters of rival gangs. Interesting. That's how it's done. Sorry, I'm just drinking. And not alcohol, no. Squigs is held in a small warehouse. Rescue him and escape. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to command your henchmen in combat tactics. Okay. Sounds good. Hmm, dear. Did I click the wrong way? Mm. Move the mouse to the edge of the screen to pan the camera. Use the middle mouse or the old key to rotate. Okay, so pretty much the same as always. Okay. The red is action points. The green is movement points. Okay, I have to admit, I really suck at turn-based games. How do you get him to move? Oh, I see. Press end turn. Time to get a move on. Try attacking him with your basic attack. To do so, first click on the attack button in the info panel below. Aim the attack and confirm with the left click. If um, um uh, Range weapon, you only need to be in line of sight, okay? Quick shot, precise shot. Let's go with that one. Initiative line at the top of the screen shows characters currently active and which characters act in turns. Enemies and allies will appear as they join in battle, okay? Now shoot them again. Yeah! You don't have enough MP in turn. No! Hi, bro. Ow! Why you get so close to me? Alright, let's... Let's go, f uh, let's say there. Alright, and then shoot him in the spine. <laughs> And again. Time to meet your maker. Ah, there we go. It's always fun shooting people in the spine, I find. Oh no, I'm out of points. Might as well end turn. Mm. Where the hell is this little fella? Alright, let's let's take a mosey. Yes, mosey. Ah, that looks like him. End turn. Time to get a move on. See, typically for me, games like this kind of frustrate me because they're a little slower paced than what I'm used to. All right, let's go. You found the, your buddy Squeaks. If you rescue him, he will join you. Hey, 
There we go. Okay, and escape. Alright, let's get out here then. Ready, boss. Let's get you behind the crate. Time to get a move on. Hmm. I'll be the quickest way. I'll be the quickest way. Okay, so now we've got to get my man out. Let's go for this way, I think. Uh, and turn again. Yeah, boys. Mm, I don't think you can go that far. Um, nope. Okay. All right. Why not? Horse feathers. Here they are. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, actually, in turn, oops. Time to get a move on. All right. Pew. Ready, boss. All right. Yeah, let's shoot this guy in the face. I don't know why the hell. He still has his gun for, considering... Wow, you are actually the worst shot ever. What is that, like, three feet? Let's see. If he's laying down, he'd be there. So, what, maybe nine feet, ten feet away? And he literally cannot shoot shit. Ow! Bloody balls. Ow. All right, let's go. Health power in five pounds. You will lose health power and fall unconscious whenever health powers to bleed. The courage bar represents the main courage, or courage points. You will lose courage when wounded due to special attack. That's... Can tell you that's going to be an extraordinarily annoying thing. Can I shoot him again? No. Ready, boss! Squeeze has special defensive stats, increases defense significantly. <laughs> what the hell? I'm way better than you. It sounded that sounded very worrying the way <laughs> Okay, let's in turn. All right. Sounds reasonable. Aimed. Precise shot. Time to meet your maker. Cool. All enemies are dead. You are victorious. You have won. Crimson Rain. Okay. Squid's in trouble. Close. Sounds pretty cool. Thanks for saving me from those thugs, boss. I would have taken them out myself if they hadn't snuck up on me like that. We've gained a level board to you can choose new perks for both me and you. Perks give passive bonus to improve performance each time. By examining for the gang management window. Which would be that one, which makes sense. Okay, let's go for me. Level up equipment, talent, second wind. Ah! Bloodlust. Uh, sniper. Requires to finish seven. I do have that. Berserk. Character acts faster at the start of the battle. Fleeting. Uh, Burly. Ooh, that, that's kind of nice. Hmm, <laughs> I like that one. I'm gonna get that one, I think. Okay. Alright, that sounds pretty cool. A Master Chief! Huh. Alright, that sounds cool. Wait, uh... Perks. I'm a sniper at the moment. Okay, cool. Level up. Uh, sounds cool. 
bio. I'm your man, boss. All right, that sounds pretty cool to me. Can you? Okay, you have to press escape to get out of it. All right. Now that you've dealt with the distractions, we should return to the task at hand: making money. Explore district. Okay, use independent business. Collect resources: beer, liquor, and firearms to sell them via jobs. Make one thousand dirty and money. That sounds reasonable. What's this warehouse? Let's raid these bitches. That's what I say. I'm gonna send Squeak since he, well. I won't beat my gums, boss. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's this? Time to get my hands dirty. All right. That pleases me. So far, it's a pretty cool game. I mean. It's maybe not exactly my cup of coffee, tea, or any other beverage. It's not, you know, terrible. I, it's just not something I would normally play. But I have to say that it is quite enjoyable. And it's really annoying me because there's a game that really, really, really reminds me of the, um, from back in the day. And it will come up to me right a second after I finish the video. Yeah, six places of interest. That's pleasing. What's this? Ouch. Probably not do that. That would really rinse me real fast. Uh, let's go with someone else then. That's this one. Raid. Yeah, let's raid this myself. That's what I say. New relations are cold. Oops. I guess that makes sense. Drive by. Yeah, it's still a drive by. Let's send this dude. To, oh, I need five firearms. Yeah, let's do another raid. Cool. Sell goods. Okay. Beer, liquor, or firearms. I've got no of that, so. Alright. Close. Okay, you can't actually close. Alright, let's sell the beer then. Sell. Close. Uh, job 7 new. Fire sale. Jobs. Ah, blast. I should have just done it that way. She has sold it to Eliza. She's actually... Uh, to be fair, she's not that much different to this dude. They're actually all about the same. Much over much, muchness, really. Great. I have several requests for Time to get my hands dirty. Cool. I am making a nice monopoly. Well, I don't know about monopoly, but I'm doing something. It's a slower paced game. I'm probably going to produce another video of this, to be honest. Nice beeswax, eh, boss? E I'm not really making these dudes friendly, am I? Let's, The fire sale. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, actually, I can. See. I am starting to build up stock for the coming weeks. Now, if you have any uh, spiritual means to help me, if you know what I mean. You don't have to repeat that. Go for it, bro. Ew, sweet. Boss, it's those damn thugs again. The ones that beat me up. We had to take them out before the. When they counter. The money, boss. All right, we have another one. I'm probably. Gonna take care of this, and then I'll, I think I'll call this particular video. Uh, I don't like to make the parts too long for obvious reasons. 
Alright, I'll go with that one. I'll go with this dude as well. Double click. Okay. Auto resolve. 35%. What does that do? Oh! Well, I didn't exactly think it was going to do that. I wonder if you could theoretically just keep doing that. You have lost. Sorry, I'm just curious if you can do that. Because if you could, that would be kind of... I'm just going to try it one more time. Out of pure idle curiosity's sake. And maybe you can't do it. Oh, you have won. Huh. Interesting. Those goons were persistent until I taught them a lesson. I doubt they'll be coming back. Oh, I quite like that. It could be a little bit overpowered, though, because theoretically you could just save it and then keep redoing it. But I suppose in a way it's good if you can't be bothered to actually take part in really meaningless combat. Yeah. Me, Squigs, and the Stiffs. They jumped us. And they got what they deserved. Squigs lost two of his fingers. Ow. I lost the man I was before. There and then, smoking gun in my hand, dead bodies all around me, I realized that I'd passed the point of no return. If the law couldn't protect me and mine, I had no use for it. If there were no paying jobs for me, I'd be my own employer, make my own rules. And if that makes me a gangster, then yes, I am a gangster. Hmm. Okay, I think that's a pretty good place to call this particular video. So it's giving you a look at character creation, how the basic interface works and so on. So I'm probably going to be putting out another video of this tomorrow. And that will just get you into a second mission. So if you are really unsure whether this game's for you, maybe you'll have an idea by now. If you have an idea whether you like it or not, well, there you go. Anyway. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you as soon. Take care of yourselves, and maybe see you on the second part. Bye for now.